here. Hmm? This won't take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too. Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. Uh? Yeah! Tifa? Alive. I thought we'd lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! No, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, 
What she look like? Well, she's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Hey, newbie. This delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? These ones addressed to Don Corneo? Welcome to Walmart, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little stretch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud, let's go. So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to tonight? Oh, wow. Don't you look at me, guys? Oh. You do? Yes, you. Do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening? We have the perfect room for a sweet-looking couple like you. How much? Cloud! <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. So, where are the shady areas? That's easy. No preferences we can't accommodate. No, sir. Like, right where we're standing? You know, I've heard from more than a few people that my son, John, has been roaming the streets of Walmart. Before he leaves town, I need to make sure I deliver him his lucky pillow. I have faith in my boy, of course. But a growing man needs plenty of sleep. Sleep of good quality, no less. That's how mind and body stay healthy and active. In other words, this pillow is crucial to his health. Oh, 
Shinra and Mika. Oh, what I wouldn't give to have you. Step right up, step right up. It's the fully automated, state-of-the-art item procurement machine. Maybe it's broken? Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Any item you can think of, can just this step is pretty safe. Isn't it? Uh, hey, you think that guy's doing okay? He wasn't looking so hot, you know. Maybe we should go check on him? But this street, isn't it? The one that everyone says is bad news? Shit, you're right. I don't want to go down there now. <laughs> what happened with you know what? Aren't you a curious cat, walking dark alleys? You've got balls, so I'll give you a pass. This once. Wait, you don't mean the newbie too, right? I said deal with it. Can't have this coming back on Sam or the Dawn. I understand. You didn't see or hear anything. You get me? What happened with you-know-what? It's all taken care of. The only thing is, the newbie screwed up, got spotted by a tourist. Then you best see to that. <laughs> My, Ooh. what lovely what? weather we're having! See the sign out front? All I got is materia. Thanks, buddy. Best to steer clear of this alley. You may not like the people you find down here, and they may not like you. Give any thought to what you- We're cool though. Just blowing off work is all. We're not up to anything, honest. We just want a second away to relax. This alley is like a sanctuary for us. You should see it in the daytime, empty. Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. You may not like the people you find down here. And they may not like you. Oh, this place is full of two. Very 
Hey there. We're a pharmacy, but we stock other stuff too. I have a decent selection. Take a look, why don't you? See you around. How do you like a piping hot bun? That's not what you Filled with the finest. Go with you and your essential electrical honey. Found this spot years ago. Love. Hey, I'm talking to you. I said they're good. Try one. Cloud, I will go wherever my research leads me. Your assistance would be much appreciated. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I've registered a new summons battle intel request. Please, take a look. I need you to defeat the summon entity so I can complete the materia. Hey there, friend. Grab a seat. Any seat that's open. Sure about that? We still got room for more? Warmth, relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Oh, that's what I need. I got a place in the love. And I've done it again. I hope that the rest of the world is bigger. One more drink to tell me. Oh, to enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? Yeah, I should have figured. You're not the philosophical introspective type like me. That soft, naive face. I know you're kind well, bro. You're just another muscle head who uses violence to work through your inner demons. It's sad, really. Huh? Yeah, what's up? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why! Oh god, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her! <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny! Your Tifa needs you! Tifa, I'm coming, baby! Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. Thank you. An I signed with Shinya Records a while back, but I'm still looking for my first big hit. It's been seven years now. Not easy, but you gotta do what you love. 
and I love to sing. This is a new song of mine. Maybe it'll be that number one. Welcome to Wall Market's premier weapon shop. Do come again. Huh. That old dude in the vacant lot next to the inn? That's the owner's brother? Yeah. Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah.
Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the dung's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. If you're hell-bent on getting in, then go bother the trio. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But, to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time we'll be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Tails. Ed, you lose. <clears throat> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But, if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. 
Mind if I see that coin of yours? Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. So pretty rowdy. I think this is where they said to me. I guess they're closed right now. I feel rejuvenated and alive. Oh, and it all leads to the man. Think you're too good for my. Yeah. Think so. I just wanted to see Andrea. Let me handle this. Curse my weak you wait out here, okay? And why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Aren't you that leaf house? Uh, hey! What the hell, Merc? Digging into people's personal affairs in this town is a huge no-no. What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, I've wanted to be a dancer ever since I was a little girl. I come here at night to live the dream. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell the children, okay? I've always wanted to dance for a living. I've always wanted to dance for a living. Gotta stay sharp, though. Lifetime bands are lifetime bands. I mean, shit! <laughs> Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes, well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else.
soon. My heart is... Come on, old man. One more drink. What do you say? This is a restaurant. You can drink. Yeah. Wait till you taste it. Only took us two. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm-hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task of terror. Terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Mm. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... <sighs> Hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! <sighs> the strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. <sighs> okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? Well then, it should go without saying that you get what you pay for. All four fingers at once, quick, and to the point. Uh, uh, little rough. Hmm? They can stop at any time if it's too much to handle. Try flexing the muscles. You'll feel the difference. Hmm? Loose and limber. Am I right? Actually, yeah. Hmm. How was it? It's all right, I guess. What are you doing? Flexing. Flexing. Uh, never mind. Hm. Think you'll make a habit of it? <sighs> All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So, tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. Yeah. 
You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence. Get your delicious with your popcorn. The doors are now open for tonight's Corneo Cup. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should.
<laughs> oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next batch, we welcome two fighters. A young couple, no less. Talking about a bad day? Well, this is their first tournament. The bad first date. And most likely their last. Inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? Okay, now I'm mad. Three of them, one of Wall Market's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pet make a meal of our two challengers? The pole of their eyes have already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon talks of hell. The Penguin Stalker! Ladies and gentlemen, who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! don't make sense yeah true but maybe it'll be better in the next match nah wouldn't bet on it better to expect the worst <laughs> 